Pilot Andrei Cherkasov is sitting inside the centrifuge. The human body weighs several times more when it spins and is subject to the same g-loads as inside a fighter during a bank turn. This is how the research and development production enterprise Svesta, meaning star, tests a new suit for pilots of the 5th generation Pak FAT-50 Advanced Tactical Fighter. Experts keep a watchful eye on the pilot's condition during the centrifuge tests. The pilot must push this button all the time. If he blacks out and releases it, the system will stop. The video cameras keep an eye on me. If I'm unconscious, everything will also be shut down. When the pilot accomplishes a combat objective, and when the plane has to evade a missile or execute an abrupt maneuver, he is subjected to peak g-loads. The blood flows away from his brain, and the pilot can easily lose consciousness. In that case, the suit plays a compensatory role. Special inflatable micro-chambers squeeze the pilot's body to stop the outflow of blood. Smart electronics activate the suit's protective function, even before the bank turn commences. He is able to withstand higher G-loads. For instance, he can withstand 7 Gs for 20 seconds in the previous generation suit. This suit makes it possible to accomplish the test maneuvers at 9 Gs. The tests are continued inside a special pressure chamber. Flight conditions at the altitude of up to 40 kilometers are simulated by pumping up the air. The breathing apparatus must start operating in the rarefied atmosphere. Modern warplanes now operate at a 12,000 meter altitude. This new aircraft will be able to operate at up to 20,000 meters. If, God forbid, the cockpit becomes depressurized, it will take more time to descend to a safe altitude. Consequently, the pilot must survive and must remain in control. T-50 pilots will continue testing the suit in real-life conditions after factory trials. The developers say this will happen next year.